Hello reformers and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of an early level quest here. It's not really for anything other than because we're already going to be traveling down to sort of Serenid territory that I thought, hey, you know what, let's try and get a task from the Guildmaster, and maybe the Guildmaster is going to give us something nice. So as you can see, he has actually given us something relatively close by, and we're going to be delivering nine units of wine to... <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, isn't that great? Nine units of wine to Jalkala, or at the very least, we're going to try to do that if I can make space. Uh, yes, the age-old problem of having space in your inventory. Isn't that always the thorn in my side? It is absolutely terrible, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so Artimena is most likely going to be leaving relatively soon. So that's a bit of a shame, I have to say, but, well, that's the thing. What can you do? What can you do, really? I mean, I don't particularly, you know, want to keep him around. He doesn't have enough, he doesn't have enough strength. I mean, I just took a look at his stats, so I'm not going to be giving him a helm or anything like that. I'm going to be giving Jeremus this helm, actually, because he's obviously going to be the one that sticks around. And he obviously has 8 in strength. Hopefully he's going to be able to get a little bit more now that he has a much better weapon. And I'm actually going to just tell him just to charge straight on in. Because we're most likely going to be against relatively easy to defeat units. So hopefully that's going to mean that we'll have a much easier time of leveling him up. And we are still technically at war against the Swadians. I did say in the previous episode that we might be doing a couple more raids... And I'm going off without the quest, aren't I? Yes, I'm going off without the quest. Am I not a fantastic person when it comes to remembering to do things? Yeah, it's just I get excited about a particular aspect of where I need to go. And then I'm just like, yes, tally-ho, we must go over there. We must go over here and so on and so forth. And <laughs> uh, sometimes I, I end up forgetting those things. Anyway, doesn't matter so much because we're now back and I will make the delivery. Mr. Guildmaster, there we go. All right, so how much space do I have? Ah, uh, not bad. Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, it, was this a good idea? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the main thing that I want to do is actually... Uh, okay, what should I do? Okay, I, I think I have a bit of a plan here. So my plan, what I was thinking of is... Not encountering Count Clay. Count Clay is most likely going to absolutely de absolutely destroy us because he has 114 in his army right now, and that's a little bit too much for my liking. But what we're going to do is we're going to swing round the Kurgit territories because I'd very much like to find a ransom broker, and ransom brokers are pretty easy to find in native, or at the very least, I think they yeah yeah there, there they go there there they go it's not too bad. So ransom broker, hello. Yes, that's all I need to know. Thank you very much. Okay, so, yes, now we can sell the Sea Raiders, the various Swadians that we have, you know, acquired. And that's a pretty decent amount of money that we've just gained there. Of course, we also have a Count in our Prisoner's Hold, so hopefully his ransom will come up soon. We also have Katrine here. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether we should take her, because... Yet again, I still need to kind of look at things. I know that a number of you have been helpful to let me know about the companions and who likes who, but it is very confusing because there are so many different companions and I have so many different companions in my army at the moment. So I am inclined not to take Katrine right now because what I'd like to do is try to just focus on a small band. I'd like about eight companions in all, and basically, we already have a really nice basis for our companions. So basically, I'm going to be having Borcha, Jeremus, and maybe Forentis, Beheshter. I mean, that's the thing. Jeremus is going to be our medic surgeon person. Borcha is going to be our miscellaneous and pathfinder, as well as, of course, the, you know, he's going to do some training as well and tactics. He's basically everything, apart from medic, obviously. He basically does everything in terms of party skills. And then, of course, we just have Forentis, who's going to be like a heavy cavalry, maybe a heavy infantry, haven't really decided yet. And then we have Beheshter, who is going to be our horse archer, you know, sort of guy, and he's going to be pretty good there. 
And I'm not entirely sure what else. I That's the thing. I don't really want to have anyone else. I'm not entirely sure whether Jeremus and Ferentis and Beheshta and, you know, and Borcha, whether they all get along. But I'm going to gonna actually check that. I'm going to check that and make sure that they're all good. And then I'm probably going to... Oh, yes. I need to do that. I'm going to ask her to give me some right to rule. There we go. Yes. Okay, yes, you go. You go off there and do that because no doubt she's going to leave soon because I don't think she... Who, does, who doesn't she like again? She doesn't like Lesolit, I believe. Yeah, she doesn't like Lesolit. Okay, so we're now in a really, really good position. Now, of course, this is going to... Yeah, I, wow, six days. I only have six days? Okay, I'm going to need to be down there pretty fast by the looks of things. So I'm going to try and get some serenaded recruits here because, well, we need some. And I think it's about time I start getting some archers. I feel like getting some archers would probably make a good deal of sense because the archers from the Serenades are actually not even that bad. I personally feel like the Serenade archers are maybe, I think, second. I think they're second to the Vajir archers. Oh, actually, Kurgits. Kurgits might actually be a little bit better. Well, who knows? But what I do know is that the Serenades are kind of middle of the road with their units, with maybe the exception of their cavalry because of course their cavalry is utterly amazing you know it's really really good okay so yeah Beheshta is obviously not a big fan of Yamira and what we're doing so he's obviously going to complain a little bit about that but I think that's okay I think that's fine I don't think that's going to affect us too much because right to rule eventually is going to obviously help us quite a bit when we create our own faction oh there's a lot of man hunters there do I want to fight those Deserters to get those manhunters. I'm moving at 5.5. They're moving at 5.6. It's unlikely that I'm going to be able to catch up. Yeah, it is highly unlikely. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, I was hopeful that maybe there'd be a vassal or something to run us into them, but it seems like I was unlucky. I just don't want to run out of time, you see. I don't really want out of time. Oh! They have 14 Swedian man at arm arms, and I've just actually recruited a couple of new volunteers, fresh-faced recruits to send into the hell depths of whatever. Yeah, it's not really good for us to take on a, a vassal with 97. All right, so we're passing by one, uh, the site of one of my greatest medical triumphs, if that interests you. Almera Castle, he saved him from something. Yeah, he saved him from a grievous wound or whatever, and then he got kicked out by the sun or something along those lines. I seem to remember that that was you know, the case, maybe? I'm not entirely sure about that, actually, but yeah, I, I, it's, it's, that's basically the gist of things. Now, there are a number of Saranid vassals running around that are not very strong, but obviously, we don't really want to do anything with them right now. They're paying our mercenary wages, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so, oh, who's that? Farmer, peasant women, not really worth it. But we can go to Jokala and go into the tavern and deliver our wine. Hopefully, us being in the Rolok territory... Whoa, the Kingdom of Vagiers? Well, yes, as I was saying, anyway. Hopefully, us being in the Rolok territory is going to make things a little bit nicer for us. Because then we'll be able to maybe get some different tasks. I wouldn't mind a task to clear out one of the mountain bandit hideouts... But I think, oh, this might actually be quite nice because I think we get about a thousand for killing deserters and things. And basically, the only thing I'm doing right now is looking for opportunities to attack vassals because obviously vassals are hopefully going to give you a good amount of ransom money. And I'm looking for tournaments as well. And obviously, tournaments were not going on in the previous episode. There was just none around. But otherwise... I'm doing tasks and tasks to get money because obviously we need enterprises in every single town or, or at the very least we're going to try and do that. Anyway, the merchants of the town, da, 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 da. okay, yes, I will try to track down the bandits but I have a bad feeling that it's going to be very, wait a minute, didn't I just see some deserters? Didn't they come over here? Weren't they, weren't they running in this direction actually? I mean we have, yeah, look at that. They are running in this direction. Maybe. It might be them, it might not be them. I, I don't actually know because the, I've never used the tracking system really. I mean, the one time I did actually use the tracking system, it, it took me in completely the wrong way, as it is now. <laughs> ah, oh my, really? 
Really? Oh well. It seems like I'm going to have to look around a little bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to find them. Okay, so I looked around, could not find any deserters, but I have run across Count Rafarch. Now, he is, well, he was currently embroiled in battle with some mountain bandits. And I know what you're thinking. Well, why? Why doesn't he, you know, why doesn't he defeat those mountain bandits really, really fast and then move on or engage Barney? Well, that's the thing, he only has 20 units to his name, so this is potentially a really, really good opportunity for us. Anyway, I'm hunting a group of bandits with the following description. Should I ask him where they are? The roads are full of brigands, friend, but that name in particular does not sound familiar. Good hunting to you, nonetheless. I, I, I love how he is so incredibly polite and nice to us, and then we're just like, I saw this only once, or oh, you know, so on and so forth, so... Yeah, we're, we're going to be attacking him, and he's not going to be too pleased with us. I believe he is also, hilariously enough, the Lord of Nemeja. Or Nemeja, or Nemeja, or whatever it's called. But basically, this is the village, the village, more nostalgia incoming, the village that Barney himself, the, the original Barney, was given basically. So, Nemesia was given to the original Barney by King Harlaus because it had just been raided. And at the time, I was just like, what? It's just been raided? How, how did it just get raided? And I was just like, why did he give me a raided village? And now I know, of course, that the, the lieges always give their poorest villages or whatever to the new vassal. But at the time, obviously, I had no idea. So, I was, I was kind of not insulted, but I was just like, why? Why did he do that? So, yeah, it was kind of amusing anyway. So, I think this is actually kind of amusing as well, how this guy is technically the lord of Nemesia. He's technically taking care of it. He's, you know, he's taking care of that village, and we are going to be going over there and raiding it, or at the very least, we're going to try. We're going to try to do that. I don't think that's going to happen, because there's probably going to be some other yeah, you know, other scoundrels in the area, other Swadian scoundrels. And we're probably going to be attacking them, obviously, or they're going to be attacking us. It's more than likely that they're going to attack us, of course. But there you are, very nice amounts of unconscious units for us to capture there. And two of them being Swadian knights, nonetheless, as well, which is very nice. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, so, ah... Oh yeah, that is what I like to see. I actually really love the Morning Star, so I think I might actually decide to use that instead of the Nomad Saber. I know it's a little bit slow because it's unbalanced and, you know, all that sort of thing, but I absolutely love that it can crush through blocks. And we're going to try and use that, even though it's... Is it is it technically Serenid? It kind of is, because isn't that the... Isn't that the mace that... The Mamluks use, or are they using a different kind of mace? Ah, oh, they might be using a different kind of mace. Well, that's a shame. Oh, well, never mind. Did you see Nazar during that last battle? He taunts the fallen foe as they lay stricken and helpless on the battlefield, mocking their parentage, their foolishness for having fought us. Ah, uh, okay, so Ferentis, he is... Uh, I don't know, I... Uh, I I don't know. I think we're going to keep Ferentis, because I've heard that Ferentis is... Well, he gets on with Borcha as far as I'm aware, but Nizar doesn't? Or am I just getting that? I have no idea. I guess I'm just going to side with Ferentis here. I'm not entirely sure. As I say, I still have to check that out on the wiki or, or you know, maybe something else. Anyway, let's see how are our recruits doing. Oh, they've all, they've all leveled up. Well, yeah, I suppose that's good. Okay, so we are going to be getting skirmishes from now on with these new recruits. And hopefully the various Serenids here. So what do they have? They, they seem to have swords for the most part. They do obviously have lances and they, I think, do spawn with maces as well. But I think they're probably blunt maces and not piercing maces. Uh, well, if that is indeed the case, well then that's a, that's a real shame because I absolutely love the Morning Star. It's a very cool weapon. I'm going to sell my prisoners, of course, before we head into Swedian territory. We're gaining some rather nice amounts of money. Caravan guard, wandering minstrel, don't need to worry about them. Do I have anything to sell? No, but I do need food. I very badly need food, actually. There we go. 
That's nice. Okay, so let's assess the local prices. I've been doing this a little bit as well because obviously trading is actually quite good in native. I did not do this at all in my original series because I was just, I don't know, I was just ignorant. I had no idea. I, you know, I just had no idea about it. I was like, assess the local prices? Oh, that could be dangerous. Let me not do that. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking at the time. But we now have the opportunity to buy some wine and sell it at Cherise for a profit. There's only one, <laughs> there's only one unit of wine here. I don't see the need to go and have a huge detour just for that. So I think we're probably just going to head on to Nemesia and see what we can do about raiding it. And who knows, we, we may come across the deserters somewhere. I mean, I've I've come across deserters in, you know, stranger places. Well, technically the, the bandits for that quest. I, I, I should have known that my luck would run out because the very few times that we've taken the quest in this particular series, we have been able to find the bandits in a really, really quick fashion. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, ah, uh, yeah, Matt is going to be losing. I mean, leaving. <laughs> losing. Right. Okay, so yes, as you can see, she does not like our companions. She's happy about our style of leadership, however, so I suppose that's nice. So, yeah, if we do find her again, and we have the opportunity, I'm probably... Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm probably going to recruit her again. Basically welcome her back into the party, and then I'm going to say, Hey, would you like to give me some right to rule? And then she's going to obviously go off and, and do that. So, yes, the thing that I was kind of groaning about before is this. These guys have a pretty large amount of units, and they're in the area. You know, they're in the area. So this is going to be very dangerous for me to raid right now. I think they're probably... Oh my, look at this! Swadia is being cannibalized by two factions at the moment. Actually, by three factions, because technically the Saranids are also at war against the Swadians. What did the Swadians do to insult all of these factions at once? I have no idea what, but what I do know is that Praven has been taken, Uxkarl has been taken, and Dirim has been taken. And obviously Praven and Uxkarl by the Rorox and Dirim by the Phaegeus, but this is insane. I was actually hoping that the Saranids might get a bit of a piece of this. Ah, well. This would actually be a really good opportunity for me to create my own faction now, but I don't have anywhere near the strength to be able to defeat any enemy that we may come across. Is that true? Do I have enough strength? I don't think so somehow. I mean, look at this. I have 11 Mamluks. That's not going to be enough to fight, what, 30 Swadian knights or something? Yeah, probably not. So we're going to just play it safe raid this village. I don't think I can quit raiding this village. No, I can't quit raiding this village, but I don't think I can be attacked. It doesn't It doesn't seem like I can be attacked while I'm raiding it, because I don't have a sprite on the world map. That might just be coincidence, but there you go. Okay, so Jeremus is... Ooh, Jeremus is now looking upset. Okay, so he's obviously not a big fan of us raiding either. Oh, well, I was a bit unaware of that. I actually thought that he was okay with things like that, but apparently not. Okay, well... We're going to be uh, swapping out some fish and bread, getting some dyes, getting some butter. I'd love to be able to get the rest. I'll swap out the cabbages, swap out the grain, and we'll get the wool. And I might as well take some sausages. Why not? That gives a little bit of extra variety. I'd love to be able to get the rest, but as it stands, can't really do that. And there you go. Okay, so we were successful in raiding that. And, aha, uh -huh, okay, I'm prepared to be a warrior, but not a brigand. Oh, okay, fine, fine. I will cease raiding then, thanks to Jeremus. Yeah, you can you can thank Jeremus for that. I'll cease raiding, but maybe what I should do is a little bit of a skirmish. Maybe a little bit of a skirmish around here, because no doubt there are going to be some Swadian vassals roaming the countryside by themselves. Oh, hello there, King Harlaus. I am going to be attacking King Harlaus. Oh yes, let us do it. Is he is he going to run to his friend? He's running to Suno. 
He is running to Suno. I don't know whether we'll be able to catch him. It is highly unlikely now that he's gotten out of the trees, but we are so close. Ah, So close. So close, but yet so far. Am I right? Yeah. That is exactly what happens. Ah, oh, now I'm super sad, because I was just like, oh, he's right there. We'd be able to kill him or take him prisoner at the very least. And taking him prisoner, I'm not entirely sure how much that's going to give us in a ransom, because it's been a long time since I've ransomed anyone in native. And obviously, Count Rius is actually still with us here, hilariously enough. Ah, uh, anyway, let's go and see... What's going on at Axkarl? No doubt there are going to be a couple of Swadian vassals around here. Oh, <laughs> ah, yes, slightly more than a couple, mind you. So, yes, we probably don't want to be dealing with those. Yes, Count Curnius, get over there. You want to defend your town. I find that increasingly amusing. Uh, okay, so yes, obviously Deshavi is going to be going as well. That's absolutely fine because in the end what we can do is, as I say, we can just remodel the amount of companions that we have and which companions we have. We'll be a little bit more selective because obviously I know a little bit more and obviously I know about the wiki. I don't even know whether there was a wiki back then. There probably was. But the game had just come out, I believe. Hadn't it? Didn't it come out in 2011 or something? Yeah, I think it came out in 2011. Anyway, should I wait outside here for King Harlaus? I don't know whether I can fight him. There he is. He's actually coming out. He actually thinks he can fight us. He has 13 Swadian knights. 13 Swadian knights. I'm not entirely sure whether we can fight that. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Will I be able to? I don't know. I actually have no idea about this. I don't know, 13 Swedish Knights, that's actually really harsh. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. I, I... I don't know. I don't know, we have 69, he has 65. We have, obviously, the disadvantage, because many of our units are quite low tier, and are still leveling up. So we have about a 15 unit disadvantage, because most of our units, as I say, most of them are, well, pretty low level. Pretty low level, so... Let's just see. Oh, King Harlaus already got himself taken out. I'm going to try and distract these guys. Obviously, the Swadian Knights are quite slow. I do seem to recall that the Swadian Knights were quite slow, so I'm pretty happy with... Oh, my. They have some extremely good weapons for dealing with cavalry. I'm not particularly a big fan of that. Okay, let's take out this guy, or not, as the case may be, because apparently taking them out is very, very difficult with a lance, isn't it? Okay, oh no, my, my horse is down. My horse is down. It's okay. It's absolutely fine. We've, we've got this. Haven't we? Do we not have this? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Oh, I'm taking out quite a few of them. Taking out quite a few. Yeah, that's what you get. Come on now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, I really should just switch to two-handed, to be honest. I think two-handed might make more sense. Yeah, well, there you go. We did get killed. I don't know whether that's going to mean that we'll be taken prisoner. Is it? It isn't. Okay. Phew. Okay, so we have 34 against his 40. I actually think we might be able to do this. How many of his knights have we killed? No, he still has... Uh, he still has a huge amount of knights. I think we're probably going to have to retreat from this. I'm actually kind of sad about that because... I think, in general, we probably would have been able to survive if only my footmen were maybe a little bit higher in level and, you know, maybe I had some serenade archers or something like that. But I think, in general, charging in to begin with was probably a mistake. Probably using a little bit more strategy to deal with him would have been a better idea. But I kind of thought, well, most of our Mamluks have lances. We should take advantage of them. So... Yeah, really just depends. Anyway, I'm going to try and survive and escape from King Harlaus. But for now, I'm going to end this episode off here. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.